With many employees across the country now required to work from home, businesses of all sizes are now being forced to essentially move their entire operations online. And one company that's helping enable this digitization is DocuSign. And I'm joined now by DocuSign CEO, Dan Springer. Thanks for joining me today, Dan. Thanks for having me. All right, so let's start off with what's a really hot topic right now, and that is data security. Uh, you know, data breaches are nothing new, but now with this surge of companies having to do remote working for all of their employees, I think there's heightened scrutiny right now on companies and how they're protecting data. So what does DocuSign's platform offer on the data security front? And what are you doing now to address perhaps uh, additional concerns that you're receiving from your clients with the onset of coronavirus and all the working from home you're seeing? Yeah, as, you're, as you said, it's a really big topic. And of course, for DocuSign, we consider ourselves a trust brand because uh, companies and individuals trust us with their most important data, those that are in their private agreements. So it's always been a big focus for us. Uh, in fact, uh, last year, uh, we made an, uh, sort of a redoubling of our efforts, uh, not because we expected there would be you know, a pandemic, of course, but just because we saw our customers continuing to push us to say they want to take it to the next level. And we brought in Emily Heath, who'd been the chief security officer at United Airlines and asked her to come in and really try to take us to that next level. And the big things that we've done are that the traditional hardening you would expect of systems, but also thinking about processes end to end to ensure we're being really careful with you know, the, the data set there. And I think one of the things I would tell you that is important for our customers increasingly is not only understanding the security of their data, but in terms of things like disaster recovery uh, and sort of these, these phenomena that we are now seeing play out where people are working from home, they wanted to know that DocuSign had the procedures in place so we could have all 4,000 of our employees working from home onboarding new employees. Today, we actually onboarded 72 new employees at DocuSign um, and doing that in a secure process way so that they get their laptops, uh, they get their passwords, and they can join our networks without creating any risk uh, in our secure processes. I think you're right. This is going to be a continued focus area for a lot of companies. Right. And when it comes to things like onboarding new employees. Clearly the e-signature component is very key, but when you take a step back and look at DocuSign's business, what areas other than e-signature do you expect to have an impact on the company's growth uh, throughout this year? Well, I think you're right. E-signature and particularly with what's been happening right now, more and more people working from home, they want to have those core processes like e-signature to help them drive their business you know, while, they're, while their employees are in a remote environment. But what we're seeing the broader long-term opportunity is what we call the agreement cloud. And the DocuSign agreement cloud uh, is really feedback that we got from our customers that they love what we did in e-signature, but their overall system of agreement started earlier at the creation of agreements and then went past the signing and the routing and the identity and all the wonderful things we've always done for them to the ongoing management of those agreements once they've been signed. And so those are the big areas that we've been focused on, helping people generate uh, those agreements to go into the flow and then manage the agreements uh, through that process. And then once they're done, uh, that's one of the reasons we've done acquisitions like the Spring CM, which helped build up our CLM business. And of course, we just announced SEAL, fantastic acquisition to bring artificial intelligence to help people manage those agreements that really run their business for them in a, a more insightful and smart contract way. So when it comes to the digitization of agreements, what inning do you think that we're in, in terms of this being the go-to way for all sorts of companies uh, of all sizes and industries really embracing this concept? And what do you think makes DocuSign stand out in the competitive landscape to offer these capabilities? Yeah, well, so in terms of the, uh, the innings analogy, you know, we still were in the very early innings, right? Uh, you know, maybe, you know, kind of second inning in this overall opportunity for Agreement Cloud. And a lot of that has to do with the fact that when we even look at the signature business, we think that's still fairly early. When we talk about competitive sets, when we think about e-signature, we talk about the fact that we compete with paper. We compete with paper and manual processes, right? There are other people who have e-signature offering, but even the next player in the space, we're six or seven times their size. So dramatic market share lead, and we're taking share. 
So we look at that business and say, wow, we have a really strong position, but we think from a total addressable market, we're about a billion dollars of revenue. The vast bulk of that, of course, is e-signature. And we see that the TAM is 25 billion and growing. So that's only, you know, on the 4% penetration if you look at that globally uh, today. So from that standpoint, I think it's very early innings. And then what sort of, I think, is going to separate us from other players is the signature I mentioned. We have that big lead. If you look across that agreement cloud that I was describing, generating agreements through the signing and the managing, there really aren't other players of any significant scale similar to ours. So we think we have a large leadership position from that standpoint, and we think we're really building the products and services that are going to allow us to continue to be the leader in the space. So when it comes to looking at the current business environment, on the one hand, we do have companies that are utilizing digital contracts and e-signature more, but on the other hand, we have this economic slowdown. So perhaps businesses might be signing less agreements. How do you kind of balance that push and pull perhaps that we're seeing right now in the business landscape? Yeah, I think you hit the two big drivers and the tricky question is, which one's gonna be bigger? In the short run, I think we feel confident that there's so much increased demand for people working from home, as you said, that that'll be a strong tailwind for us. The harder question is, what's the economic impact from a macro standpoint gonna be? And how is that gonna have an impact on employment? And is this gonna have an impact on the, the volume of business transactions, as you said? Um, my, my view, you know, again, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm uh, economist by academic training, uh, but not a practicing economist. My view is that we will see, uh, not this is new news for, you, for your viewers, uh, economic slowdown in the, in the second half of this year. Um, my perspective is the long-term move towards digital and the very high return on investment that our clients get when they use DocuSign, that that will be stronger uh, and over overcome that macroeconomic challenge. But we don't want to minimize that the macroeconomic challenge. And we do believe that many of the customers we have, we have almost 600,000 customers, from the very large to the very small, we believe many of them will be impacted uh, you know, to some extent uh, by this, and it will therefore have some impact for us as well. Uh, well, we know that DocuSign has a strong track record of very compelling earnings and sales growth, and the stock has held up incredibly well in the face of all the volatility that we've been seeing. So thank you so much, Dan, for taking the time to explain all of the ins and outs of DocuSign to us today. We really appreciate it. 